crisis in Ukraine. It's a country torn between East and West. Final death toll still not known because a lot of people are still missing. The, the most perfect word would be to describe is it's war. No one can solve the conflict and it's the scariest part of it. It's not, go, it's not moving anywhere. Actually, really lucky because I don't know what what I've been doing if not tennis. You know, like going to university here in U.S. The only reason why I actually thought about it and why I'm why I'm here is because of tennis. It's kind of like tough for me, you know, like knowing that I'm from there. All the people that just like I know how their situation is. Like, they just don't have a way to get out. And fighting over the country's very future as thousands of protesters stake their lives on a desire for real political change. Last time I've been there was two years ago, and I came back to the east part, and I just looked around and I was like, that's not my home. That was the hardest part, you know? Everything changed so much, people changed so much that, like, I just don't feel that it's my home anymore, and that's the hardest part, you know? Then I come, come up with the question, where is my home now? Sometimes I feel I should do it like for my country, for my region, you know, because like, it's, it's actually a huge motivation, you know, huge motivation, and again, uh, from what I said, it's a huge gift, and I can't waste it, you know. Mm -hmm.